I'm going to be doing my foundation routine. I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks that I use to get this snatched face that y'all always see. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start by prepping my face with MAC Fix Plus. I just do long strokes like this. I don't use foundation anymore, just be, or I don't use primer anymore, just because I felt like it really eroded my makeup and just it moved it around it looks so janky so oh sorry my hair's still a little wet and now i'm just taking some maybelline fit me foundation and just dotting it all over my face getting it down on my my hairy hairy puerto rican chin and just getting a little on my eyes and finishing up the product on my hand next i'm going to be taking this artiste kind of looking dupe brush and I'm just going to blend all of this into my face. I love using a really densely packed brush like this because it just spreads your foundation around so good. Usually with a beauty blender because it soaks up so much product you have to use two or three dollops or pumps of foundation. So I like using this and look how fast I used it to basically blend out my whole face. Getting really close to that hairline right underneath the eyes. Now I don't really use concealer just because um, I don't feel like I have like super dark circles under my eyes or anything like that. So I just go over my face with a full coverage foundation because I'm not using concealer. So now that I have this nice and blended in looking really pretty making sure to get down onto my neck and into my ears and up near my hairline. I'm gonna take my MAC Full Coverage Foundation. It looks like this, it is a cream pan. I'm gonna be taking a Morphe 439 brush. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just because this is a cream. It tends to be a little hard to work with. And I'm just going to do some spot treatment on my face with this MAC Full Coverage. I don't use this on my entire face, but I go over places like my cheeks and on top of my nose where I have a little bit more blemishes like that just buffing that in just spot doing and I'm making sure that I'm dabbing it or stippling it just so that I'm not moving the other foundation around so now a tip and trick that I do is I let my foundation sit and set onto my face. You can use a lot less powder that way if you let the foundation set on its own by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And um, sorry they're looking like Janky Joe today. I um, have an audition coming up. So I want to wait and get them done right before the audition. Now with my brows, I'm literally just going over the brows that I naturally have. Everyone is different. Some people really do need to heavily draw their brows in, but I do not. So I just go over what I already have, kind of cleaning up the area. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I'm in the color Soft Brown. And this is like kind of like a angled pencil on the end and a spoolie on the other end to just kind of blend everything together and brush the hairs into what you are working on. So as you can see, I just kind of go under the bottom kind of shaping out the ends to a point making sure that if I was to go like this that the ends are meeting at an angle with where my eye is just light little strokes kind of fixing this area up here going a little harder on the top here oh. 
I messed up. That is okay, because brow products are pretty loosey-goosey. And you can just buff them away with your finger. I'm going to add a little bit more to this side. Filling them brows in nice. They're very full today and scraggly, so forgive me. But we're going to work what we got. Now that I have let my foundation sit into my face on its own, I'm going to take some RCMA No Color Powder. This is a translucent powder. Um, I'm just going to put a little on the back of my hand. Oh, okay, a lot. Just snort the rest. Just kidding. And I'm going to take this. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Air Brush in 126. I'm just going to dab this like this on the top. And I'm just going to go over my T-zone. So my chin, I'm going to powder my nose and a little on my cheeks up right here. I'm going to powder the center of my forehead. And again, just going over that one more time, getting my T-zone area and my forehead. I'm also going to take a little bit on my finger and just rub it onto my eyes to set my eyes for the foundation later. My Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to take this Morphe Y3 brush, kind of like a fluffy powder brush, and I'm just gonna dab inside of this powder like this. And I'm going on the natural contour of where my cheekbones are. And I'm just gonna rub it right there, trying hard not to bring it all the way down, just because I do have a smallish face, I try to work within the confines of my my own face. So now that I've found my natural contour, and don't be afraid to get all the way into that hairline. I'm gonna go in with another layer, kind of angling a little more upward. And this just helps bring a little bit of color back into the face. And then I'm gonna do the perimeter all the way by my hairline. Again, less is more, just dabbing it into the bronzer. We're not trying to like swirl our brush in there a million times. Just lightly going in again to just bring a little depth and color back to the face and again don't be afraid to get into that hairline really buff that bronzer into the hairline making everything look really nice and seamless taking this morphe m441 blending brush this is for your eyes but i also use it to contour the sides of my nose a little bit so i'm going to take the same bronzing powder i had sorry <laughs> and I'm just going to dab in there really lightly, and I'm just going to go on the sides of my nose. Now, I'm not trying to conceal anything or look like I have a small nose when I have a larger nose, not anything like that. Just again, adding a little bit of color, playing off shadows and lights, and just really buffing this as hard as I can. <sighs> on the sides of my nose, doing a little nose contour. Now that I have this set, I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. I'm gonna start here, and I'm just gonna blend back and forth in this crease with this bronzer. And I'm just looking straight ahead because I have hooded eyes. There we go. Just back and forth. Just going in with more. Again, less is more. Start off with less. Go back in with more. Blend it out till it is seamless. I'm working it here. I'm bringing it out. Again, working it right there. Back and forth, back and forth. Bringing it up. And now I'm going in a little more in the middle. Just setting a really nice base for other colors that we're gonna layer on top. I'm switching gears. I'm gonna be doing my blush. I'm gonna use this Milani blush. It is in number 05 Luminoso. This is such a pretty brush. Um, it's a very, um, like more of like a sheen instead of like 
glitter like some of the other Milani baked blushes and I'm using the Real Techniques um, blush brush just kind of stippling and light little strokes just dabbing like I'm literally dabbing like the poof like that shaking off the excess and going on to the apples of my cheeks. One tip that I use is that I do not smile. I don't go like this when I put my blush on. I literally just do it like this because if you're smiling and it's way up here, it's going to drop down and your blush is going to be on your titties. Next, I'm going to take my highlighting brush. This is the Morphe M510. I'm going to take my Becca Opal Bronzer, really pretty, and I'm going to do my face again, just dabbing the highlighter and going on the tops of the cheeks. <laughs> Working in the confines of my face, again, if you have longer cheekbones, go ahead and snatch those babies all the way down, but I have a kind of a smaller face, so I'm just working on my own face. Sometimes I would look at myself with highlighter and be like, I look ridiculous, and that's why. And now I'm doing the bridge of the nose, dabbing, adding a little more. Really gonna go for a really pretty glowy face. I'm going to do my Cupid's bow. Don't really have a deep Cupid's bow, but then going up here by my abra. Really just getting that glow everywhere. And this is such a pretty one. I love Becca's highlighters. They last for a really long time. They're really pretty. Look at that. Go in with this color called Bronze Bod. I'm going to take a MAC brush. And this is a Buxom Single Bar Eyeshadow. And I'm just going to place this all over the lid. And it's okay if it's not perfect because we're going to go ahead, sorry I'm looking in a mirror now, and we'll fix it. It's a really pretty color. These are all really nice colors because they're like primer infused shadows which is really cool um so they stay on for a long time one second it's mac single bar eyeshadow it is in the color swiss chocolate it's really pretty kind of brownish terracotta color i'm going to take that same blending brush that i used to blend the top part and i'm going to go in with this color and just buff out what's there And you don't even have to do this. You could literally go back in with the bronzer, but I wanted to add a little bit more. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more of a seamless transition. That's why I um, am using this Max Swiss chocolate, so it's not it's not super dark against super light. And that's looking so pretty. And again, I'm just gonna take this brush and just kind of swipe off the excess powder. That tends to get a little powdery. Ew, got a boogie. Now I'm gonna take Sephora, everybody, it's called the Must Have Smudge. I was about to say, it's called like everybody needs this brush or something. And I'm gonna go into that same Maxwell's Chocolate and I'm just going to go into my lash line, just smudge that sucker right in there. Pretty, pretty. Pretty. And then I'm going to take this Morphe E17 brush, a little fluffy blending brush. And where is it? I'm going to take more of Becca Opal and I'm just going to put that right in here. Really brightening up my eyes. I'm not going to be using any um, lip our eyeliner today or lip liner just because 
I, I don't use it that often, honestly. I just want to go in and do my eyeshadow because if I use eyeliner sometimes my eyes will just look really small. So that keeps them, in my opinion, helps me keep them open. And I am using Maybelline Great Lash, my OG, my go-to Ride or Die Mascara, only five bucks. And I'm gonna do the bottom lashes. My tip for you is to get a waterproof mascara. And I used to not want to get one, but get one because it keeps it from transferring from here and then having smudges down here. Last but not least, I am going to put this beautiful color called Hutch on my lips. It is a ColourPop satin lip. I really like these. They're a really good deal, too. There we go. We are all done with the lip. Now I'm going to spray some MAC Fix Plus again on my face. Just letting all that makeup really set in there and look pretty. And this is the final product. Really glowy, kind of pretty sunset bronzy look with a really pretty dark lip. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye.